Welcome back guys, this is part 2 and this is the way out of Ardbeg. So if you guys didn't see the last video, definitely jump down there, check out the channel and check out the last video. But right now, we're getting the hell out of here before it gets too dark. Peace. Perfect. Woo! Not even a scrape. Careful here. Yeah, we're gonna need a spotter. Yeah, yeah, you need to go follow. Okay. The only thing, can you videotape? I'm gonna. S this is where the tip of the rock is. Yeah, same, same. Do not do your steering. Yeah, now straighten a bit. Straighten a bit. Yeah, come straight, come straight, come straight, straight, straight. Passenger, passenger. Straight, straight. Passenger. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, passenger, passenger. Straight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, conquered. <laughs> Thank you. Easier, yeah. <laughs> that 
was beautiful. Up was easier. Yes. There's a bypass. There's a bypass. You could, but I. It's, you, it's your call. For him, if he wants to go this way, he should stick to that side. Yeah, yeah I side. think. Uh, yeah. Straight, straight, straight. Keep straight. Yep. Straight. Straight, straight. Oh, passenger, passenger. Yeah, perfect. Straight. Straight, straight. Just hold that line. Yeah. It's Has... that doing climbs is easier than going yeah. down, right? <laughs> it's so smooth. It was definitely easier than I expected. I thought... <laughs> Alright, what's That's in front good. of us That's now? <laughs> So guys, the trail camera is actually awesome and I have been using it all day and it really actually does help. Now I will tell you, you don't really see the actual terrain in uh, like, you don't really see how hilly it is or how much of a drop something is, but it does help you to see where that obstacle is and if you're about to get to it or if you're just before it or if you're lined up for it properly and stuff like that. So it doesn't show you the actual terrain great but it does show you where the obstacle is and where your tires are and I love that I've been using it all day and it works awesome some of the other off-road features that I'm really enjoying today are the off-road plus which kind of holds the gear for you a little bit longer and all the gears and I'm not sure what else it does I know that it does that at least I really like that the sway bar disconnect is a button I don't have to get out and change the links and take the links out and deal with all of that uh, honestly, this thing has been great. I would say that it is at least as capable, if not more capable than my TJ, right out of the box. The way that they build these new Jeeps is amazing. And even if you go out and get yourself a stock Jeep, not a uh, extreme recon package, they're still really, really great vehicles and they're super capable. As you can see here, even the extreme recon package there, you probably don't have to do anything to that except drive it. You can take that thing on almost any trail, have a good time and go home and still enjoy a good driving vehicle that has warranty, that doesn't have crazy mods and you don't have to worry about 
things breaking on you every two minutes. Just like this, I can do minimal mods to this. I can do a lift and tires and that's it and we're done and we don't have to do too much. Obviously, we're gonna do a track bar and things like that to, to align it better, but and maybe a, another rock slider because <laughs> the rock sliders that I have are good, but they're not the toughest. So definitely, I think I would upgrade that. But right out of the box, this thing is amazing. I thought you were free roaming it. hold trees down and you're gonna squeeze your way through there. I'm gonna go here. Huh. You gonna make that? You're gonna like by the time I get to the tree and they start turning I'm gonna be hitting the tree. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to think about this. If you you can't go driver, you'd have to go passenger. You have to come out and think about this. The driver's not happening. If you hug this, you are eventually going to have a wheel in the air, but I think you can make it. But if you want a safer option, I think this is the best. Like, you can easily do this. Oh, there, I can rip right. that down. Like I have faith. I believe in you. So you're gonna have to start with a hard driver and then turn hard passenger. No, 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 no. he's the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why didn't you take the bike? Oh, he won't fit, he says. Okay, yeah, 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 good, good, good. Keep it, keep it, driver. Good, keep it, driver. good. Yeah. Straight, 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 straight. Perfect. To the passenger. No, no, keep it, driver. Straight, straight. Okay. A little bit, yep. Okay, straight. Keep it straight for now. Your back tire is up. You're not going to touch anything. And now you're going to climb up on that side. Just 
That's it, man. You can get this big girl out. <laughs> We're not leaving you on the trail. <laughs> okay, see done. You're okay. Driver, passenger, straight. Okay. Passenger. Can you get by? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we're good, we're good. I'll get, let me get out of your way. Scooberoo! Buddy, I'm telling you, they bring everything out here. Corolla, Subarus, Beamers, whatever. Well guys, we made it back. All in one piece. I am happy to report that everybody made it off the trail in one piece without any serious damage. Now, we did have a little bit of bumps and bruises here and there. Like I mentioned earlier, we did touch the trailer hitch. Uh, we did kind of uh, okay with the underbody. We did a little bit of damage. And there's a few other things that I will mention, but uh, I think I'll leave that for another video because I also want to include just my basic review of taking the stock gladiator off-road and what I enjoyed what I didn't enjoy basically uh, to give you guys an overview if you guys have never taken your gladiator off-road just to give you guys an idea what to expect uh, what I liked about it and what I didn't like and basically what you guys have to watch out for so I will make another video just about that and I will include all the damage we will look at the underbody and everything else but I don't want to bore you guys today so I think that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. And I know that if you guys did watch the first video of us going into the trail, I did mention that this was like our closest thing to like Utah or Moab or things like that. That is the South Trail. 
Ardbeg has two sides. Well, it actually has a lot of different trails, but two main sides. It has the North Trail and the South Trail. And the South Trail is the one where it has barely any rocks. It's mostly, uh, sorry, barely any trees. It's mostly just rocks, giant big boulders like rocks basically that cover the entire ground everywhere. And it makes for some good rock crawling and some good just all around fun with the Jeep. And it gives you nice opportunities to test your limits because there is easy obstacles, hard obstacles, stuff in between, stuff for everybody. So even if you've never been off-road before, I definitely recommend going out to Ardbeg, but going on to the South Trail. What we did was the North Trail. That was inside the forest. It was fun, it was great, I enjoyed it, but at the same time, it wasn't exactly what uh, I was expecting because I've never done the North Trail before to be honest with you guys and it was fun I enjoyed it, but I want to take you guys back out there and show you the South Trail because that is honestly where it's at That is tons of fun. It is probably my favorite trail around here that I've done and uh, Yeah, I definitely want to take this thing out there because I've taken the Jeep the yellow TJ out there a few times and Yeah, both times they had to come back on a flatbed So uh, that's why I took the gladiator yesterday and I think that now it is time to go back there and definitely have some fun on the South Trail. So if you guys want to see that, then jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then guys, ride safe out there. Peace.